Got everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> It's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, look, Sam. It has been an experience getting to meet you. But the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this numbskull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of Emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and, and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you got a few ancient cities on me, and I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's... that's our ride. Yeah. Uh... Sam. You've come far. You sure have, little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, vamos. <laughs> So, Victor, what's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Yeah. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido voltar para casa? What's that mean? 
How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that... Well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a uh, mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay, perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. You're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Huh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right up oh, no, our alley. No, Honey, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? Look, this came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Holy crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky <laughs> one. Of course, most of them are going to have to go into our venture here, along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look. When I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are going to operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. 
But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So. What do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diamond. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used could. to be. Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not. Afraid on a to scale play of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah. Well, jack that up to like eleven. Oh. All right, because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my. That's. Okay. Fine. You're on. Old school. Mom? Dad? Anyone? Oh, that looks beautiful. Sorry, Sully. Wow, Sam looks so young. Oh, cool. Sam and Sully are coming to visit. 
<laughs> Look at these two. Here we go. I think they abandoned us. Let's see what you got. Mom has weird taste in music. I kind of like this one. <laughs> well, so cool. I need to ask mom to borrow this one again. All right. <laughs> but just this one. This is the last one for today, okay? Hey! <laughs> Off she goes. Taj Mahal, here I come. Just a few more weeks. Ah, <sighs> perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Oh, yeah, I was hanging out with Soli for this one. Whoa. Good job cleaning this up. You figured it out. Got the search area narrowed down quite a bit. <laughs> so goofy. He left his keys. He left his keys. There's no way. There's just no way. Creepy. Kind of 
kind of cool. Hello. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Hmm. What's this? What the hell? Oh shit. Rip. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. Keys. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a, a silver skull of some kind. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Me? It's time to have the talk. Mm. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, uh, funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on. You know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty that's much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Oh, language. language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what, what Francis Drake looked like? Was it gross? 
Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The City of Gold? That's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue. A cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that. Thank <laughs> you.